APC has finally perfected their plans, you know, um, with the crisis in the party, the tussle for leadership, um, and even the caretaker committee. Caretaker committee um, came on board June 25th last year, exactly a year now that they've been in charge of the party. They got an extension, they sought an extension in December, they got it. And uh, <laughs> they tried seeking another extension for various reasons. But political analysts have it that um, all of this is because uh, Maya Mala Bernie, um, a serving governor of Yobe State, has, has so much influence. And President Mohamed Buhari wants it that um, these are the people that will be there when the general election um, is about to be conducted so that they will manipulate things. That was um, the argument and um, speculations going around. However, um, APC finally gave in and um, the caretaker committee now has another six months. It's quite shocking, quite surprising. Adam Sochomole, they said, put the party in a bad shape, left the party in a bad shape. There were litigations, court cases here and there, um, internal crises that they needed to resolve. But it's past one year now, they're still yet to resolve all of those crises. The caretaker committee has just got another six months approved by President Mohamed Buhari. We'll bring you all of the details in a bit, but before we do, guys, please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. President Mohamed Buhari has granted another six months tenure extension to the Maimala Bernie led Keteka and Extraordinary Convention Planning Committee of the ruling All Progressive Congress APC. The president gave the approval yesterday morning after a closed door meeting with members of the committee at the State House Abuja. Sources said that the Bonnie-led committee requested for another six-month tenure extension after doing 12 months to enable them to put the party in a very good shape and conduct a seamless elective national convention. The Kateka chairman and governor of Yobe State, Bernie, presented a summary of the committee's progress report to the president at the meeting. The chairman was accompanied to the meeting with the president by another member of the committee, Governor Isiaka Oyetola of Fushun State, Governor Abubakar Sani Bele of Niger State, Ken Unamani, Abubakar Yusuf, Akinyemi Olaide, Mrs. Stella Oketete, Dr. James Lulu, Chief David Loin, Abba Ali, Professor Tahi Mamam, Ismaila Ahmed, and the Committee Secretary John Akpa Nudehe. Akpa Nudehe, in a statement after the meeting, said the President approved the tenure extension after a detailed consideration of the progress report. The scheduling of astounding activities with regards to the Congresses, the National Convention, and the forthcoming Anambra State Governorship election. He said, by virtue of the extension, the tenor of the Keteka Committee, at each level, from wards, local government, state, and national, would end immediately elections were held at their respective levels, with officers immediately taking oath of office, terminating with the National Convention. The secretary recalled that at his last meeting, the National Executive Committee NEC conferred on the committee the power of the National Convention, which is in line with the powers provided in Article 13 of 3 of the party's constitution. The secretary stated, President Buhari on Friday approved the review of the timelines available to APC Keteka and Extraordinary Convention Planning Committee, CECPC. The president also approved the timetable for the APC Ward, Local Government and State Congress, World Congresses would hold 24th July 2021, followed by local government congresses on 14th of August 2021, and state congresses on 18th of September 2021. Akpa Nude noted that Bonnie informed the president that the committee had, during the period under review, led the party to contest in several elections and by elections with an overall success rate of 95%. On the peace and reconciliation efforts, he said, the chairman informed the president that the committee commenced its assignment with a desire to foster genuine reconciliation on solid foundation by giving all issues and every aggrieved member fair hearing and objectively placing party interests above individual interests. I'm pleased to state that the party is now more peaceful, more accommodating and more united with greater prospects than when we came on board, Akpanude quoted Bonnie as telling Buhari. On the Anambra governorship election, the secretary stressed that the chairman notified the president that 14 aspirants indicated interest to contest the election through purchase of expression of interest and nomination forms, and that all of them had been cleared by the screening committee as eligible to contest. 
He added, among other achievements in the CECPC's administration of the party, the national chairman informed the president that the CECPC inherited liability of unpaid legal fees to the tune of 340 million naira, but successfully negotiated and brought down the fees to 179 million naira, which is now fully paid. The secretary added that the chairman informed the president that the committee had been very cautious and meticulous in making arrangements to conduct credible, transparent, flawless, and generally acceptable congresses and conventions for the party to produce a strong leadership that will enjoy the support, trust, confidence of all members. At all times, we've enjoyed the confidence of Mr. President and enjoyed your leadership in developing the time table for the congresses and convention the support to conduct a credible election cannot be overemphasized this will also justify the successes recorded and the status of the new apc that we've all dreamt of quoted bonnie as telling the president during the meeting at the state house president buhari took a holistic look at the activities of the apc in recent times and concluded that the party which was crisis reading had been revived and now fully back to life he therefore congratulated the malaburni led committee for its tax to return the party from a comato state to proper reorganization at all levels the president said the apc had been revived energized and repositioned for its forthcoming national convention and future elections According to him, the fortunes of the party had been brightened by the reorganization and reconciliation of members across the party, saying, with the work done by the committee, the party has bounced back to life. I've listened with great interest to the remarkable job you've done so far. We are all witnesses to the crisis that engulfed the party, leading to litigations and presented a picture of selfishness and division, the president said. President Buhari said, the party structure was disturbed by the conflict that preceded and followed various elections noting that the secretariat had been witnessing a beehive of peaceful activities after the reconciliation the president said it is gratifying to note that with the coming of the Ketika committee and its effective management of the affairs of the party and the pursuit of his mandate the party has bounced back to life and the national secretariat of a party has once again become a beehive of activities as it used to be in the good old days before the crisis. The president told members of the committee that they would continue to enjoy the support of all party stalwarts and members to complete their assignments with the actualization of the convention and leave an indelible footprint. He said, I wish to assure you that your, com your committee will continue to enjoy my support and that of other stakeholders to ensure that the conduct and outcome of the Congress and National Convention are done in a manner that conforms with our desire to leave indelible footprints, all round developments, and a lasting legacy for future generations. Earlier, in his remark, the chairman of the APC committee said they approached their duty with commitment and dedication to rescue the party from imminent collapse. The Yobe state governor noted that all issues and members were given a fair hearing and an open day policy was created to accommodate all those that were aggrieved, leading to withdrawal of cases in court and peaceful settlement. We are currently witnessing high power decamping to our party, including governors from the PDP. The party is now more peaceful, orderly and accommodating than what we met on ground. Although there was initial fear, the mobilization and sensitization was able to to ally the fears of members, Bernie said. The Yobe state governor said the registration and revalidation of members across the country recorded more than 40 million members and an appeal committee was set up to hear all matters related to the process that no member gets disenfranchised. We have observed that youth and women constitute huge population of the voting group. We had a youth and women committee and also people with disability, he added. According to him, a contact and strategy team had been set up in every state to come up with an acceptable template that will ensure transparency, credibility, and acceptability of the internal electoral processes. Bernie also said the committee had instituted a process to review the party's constitution and look into the loopholes that usually fan conflicts and litigations among members with more than 500 memoranda already received. While thanking the president for his support and insight, Bonnie noted at a national conference for the youth 
was organized recently as part of the bottom-up approach to strengthening the party and ensuring relevance of all stakeholders. APC, they feel that all of these that they are doing uh, will make uh, Nigerians uh, uh, will make them gain the trust of Nigerians once again. So APC has gotten another six-month extension. That is all in the game plan. You know, they are planning towards 2023 to retain power well guys let's hear your take down below in the comment section thank you once again for staying tuned please don't forget to like share and to subscribe till i come your way again with more updates bye